What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Your boy, Mike D. You in my cichlid hut, and these are some of my cichlids. First off, I want to say thank you guys for stopping by to watch the video for a minute. Hey, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Feel free to share the content to someone you know or think you might know that would like the content that I create over here at Cichlid Hut. It would be greatly appreciated. I want to say thank you in advance. But let's jump right into it. Uh, right here, you guys, are... Um, a pair of red Islanders, my F1s pair, a gorgeous pair. Kind of excited. These guys are actually spawning right now. I kind of caught this by accident. Came in the room to feed the, um, the Tri-Mac Fry and the Cubans. And I looked close and I said, what are they doing? And I actually saw that these guys were spawning. It's been about eight months since I got a spawn out of these two. Um, in my experience with Islanders, especially with the pair that I have here, they like the water to be quite warm when they when they spawn. I'm talking about quite warm, like 79, 80 degrees warm. Um, and I, it always triggers a spawn with this pair. If that water is anywhere lower than that, it's kind of hard uh, for them to spawn for me. They don't spawn well, but they like to spawn in this warm weather. I also had a small pair from these guys, and it was the same with them. That I, I, I rehomed them a couple of months ago, and they were the same like their parents. They needed, they liked it real warm when they um, spawned. They actually spawned two or three times for me before I got got them a new home. But well, anyway, I'm not gonna talk a hole in you guys head. As you guys can see, the female is laying the eggs as close as she can to the divider so the male can sperm the eggs. And as she's laying them, she is fanning the eggs as she go along the slate. I don't know if she, the fish knows this, that they're doing it, but she's actually helping the spread of the sperm over the eggs, which is great. It's going to increase the hatch rate. These guys usually give me a good hatch rate between the divider. Like I said, it's been about eight months. Happy to get a spawn because I don't have any growls from these guys. And I'm, I'm just excited about this spawn. But I'm not going to talk a whole you guys here. As you guys can see, the spawning through the divider it can be done. Um, you can't have, su have success doing this. If you have any comments, questions, leave it in the comment section. And I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. So I'm going to let you guys just check the fish out. Um, spawn for a couple of seconds. And I'll catch you on the next video, which y'all know will be coming real soon. Peace.